I have three over four here, and I want to have three over four on this side. So how do I solve this? Now notice that 256 can be written as 4 raised to the power 4. Because 4 raised to the power 4 will give you 256. Over 81 can be written as what? 3 raised to the power 4. Right? It's equal to, I have 3 over 4 here. So 3 over 4. Right? 4 raised to the power what? X minus 1. Now notice that I have the same power here. So it means that I can group them together and maintain the power, right? So this is what? 4 over 3, right? All raised to the power 4. Because I have the same power. I can group them together. It's equal to what? 3 over 4. All raised to the power what? X minus 1. Now note something. I have 3 over 4 here, but I have 4 over 3. And I want this 3. I want to have 3 over 4 on this side. So that I can have the same base. So that I can, I can be able to equate the powers. You know I can... If I want to do that, I can take the inverse of this. And when I take the inverse of this, I will introduce a negative sign here. If I take the inverse of this, I will turn, the, turn it upside down to become 3 over 4. If it becomes 3 over 4, I will put a, negative, a, a, a minus sign here. For instance, if you have a raised to power minus 1, this can be written as what? 1 over a. In so doing, you have taken the inverse. So I'm, I'm going to do the same here. So this becomes 3 over what? 4. All raised to power what? Minus 4, right? Is equal to what? 3 over 4. Raised to power what? X minus 1. You can see that they have the same base. So I will equate the powers. So this is what? Minus 4 is equal to what? X minus 1, right? Minus, minus 1. I'm going to collect like terms and move it to the right hand side. So it becomes minus 1, minus 4. Minus 1 crossing to this side becomes plus 1. So plus 1 is equal to x. Minus 4 plus 1 is what? 3. Minus 3. So minus 3 is equal to what? x. So this is the value of x. Bye.